I'm gonna continue showing the Belagra walk area. Today I'll show you the beach part, or you can call it Jibera Walk by Miras. In the first part of this video I've shown you JBR Walk by uh, Dubai Properties. It's an old part of uh, JBR Walk and told you uh, some interesting facts about JBR and JBR, JBR Properties. So if you are interested to see that, you can find the link in description to that video. Last time, uh, as you probably noticed, I was lazy and didn't start from the very beginning of JBR. I started from Amwatch um, um, area. Today I'm fixing this mistake and I'm starting from Shams, going to Amwatch um, and after that turning left to uh, the beach. We are on the beach now, it's uh, Meras part of GBR walk. What you can find uh, in this part is uh, restaurants, cafes, coffee shops. It has basement parking, which is paid. But if you're dining in, in a restaurant, uh, you can validate your parking there. I want to, to inform you that uh, not all of the restaurants are validating your parking, so you have to be careful with it. And the parking cost is 20 dirham, if I'm not mis mistaken, per hour. Restaurants uh, in this area are good. I tried expectation, them preparing very good uh, breakfast and the PF Chen. But PF Chen it's a very famous Chinese uh, chain, so everywhere tastes the same. I cannot tell about any other restaurants because I didn't visit them. Also, there is a cinema here and there is access to the public beach. Uh, beach is free, however, if you want to use shower, you have to pay for it. Also, there is a jogging area, kids playing area and even small aqua park for kids.
the beach connected directly to Blue Waters Island through the bridge. I'll show you video about Blue Waters in the next video. As I told you in the previous video, JBR Walk and JBR Project is itself is one of the most favorite and popular projects in Dubai. Because of the excellent location on a beach, uh, it uh, attracts a lot of uh, investors and tourists to this area. Most of the properties in JBR are bought as investment and I will explain you right now why. There are several ways how you can uh, invest in a Dubai property market and uh, get a profit out of it. The first way is the most popular and most easiest one. You are buying property in JBR, renting it on a yearly basis your tenant and uh, getting yearly ROI, return of investment, out of it. Average yearly ROI which you can get uh, on JBR property from 4 to 7%. Second most popular way of investment is uh, price appreciation, meaning you are buying property on a low price and selling it on a higher price after some period of time. If you are planning to do long-term investment, you can also rent your property and wait for one or two years and after that resell it. One more way of doing business in Dubai is a short-term investment, meaning you are finding property on a very good price, we, call, we are calling deals like the distress deals, so you need to find distressed property, landlord who need to, who, who need to sell his property very quickly, uh, buy it on a price which is lower than market price and after that uh, you put it on the market on a higher uh, price and uh, uh, make some uh, profit out of uh, this deal. But to do that you have to be an uh, educated investor, you should be aware of all deals, uh, what is going on on the market uh, and uh, or uh, you should have a trusted broker who can bring you deals like that. Uh, some of investors of mine, they keeping uh, some amount of money 
in my office to put deposits straight away uh, to not lose deals like that. One more way of uh, making money out of uh, property in Dubai is the holiday homes, short-term rentals. You can buy or rent property, for example in JBR, which is by the way one of the best locations to do short-term business because it has access to the beach and there is no problem with the security like you can find for example on Palm Jumeirah is uh, some of the buildings are very strict to short term um, yeah so you are buying or renting a property in JBR and either you giving it to holiday home company uh, and they will manage uh, this property and rent will rent this property to uh, customers uh, on your behalf. Usually, uh, the holiday home charging from 20 to 25 percent of income for this kind of services. Or you can uh, manage this property by yourself. Uh, it's uh, a lot of more headache because you need to meet customer, you need to make check-in, check-out clean all uh, bed sheets, all apartment and, and stuff like that. But in this case you will save 25%. One more way uh, of doing business with uh, JBR properties which I know is to buy or rent big uh, apartment which is three or four bedroom and uh, rent, uh, rent each room to individuals uh, it's not like there is a gray gray area I'll try to I'll tell you from the beginning because sub lease uh, is not actually pop popular way of uh, uh, doing business for uh, owner association company and they are fighting with it so uh, I, know, I, I wouldn't recommend. I heard from my friends that this kind of business is very good. Uh, you can make uh, more money that you are doing uh, on uh, just renting your apartment on a yearly basis to individuals. So what uh, are the disadvantages of each type, of, of each way sorry, of uh, investment? If we are talking about price appreciation, you need to follow one basic rule only. Buy cheap, sell expensive. So basically what you need to do is buy on a cheap price and sell it on a high price. Usually people doing opposite. They are seeing some hype on the market and they are, oh, 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 I need to buy, I need to buy, it will be too late, they are buying on a higher price, but they are always forgetting that market is volatile and uh, for especially Dubai market and uh, after that they are forced to sell sometime uh, on a lower price and uh, instead of making some profit uh, the uh, having losses so you you need to follow this basic simple rule uh, second disadvantage uh, would be that for example you are buy, you are buying property you are renting it and after that you want to sell it uh, usually invent investors preferring to buy property uh, I mean talking about investors, I'm talking about people who is buying and selling property on a regular basis. Uh, uh, this kind of investor prefer to buy property with uh, ROI closer to 
which is very difficult in JBR. So uh, in this case, this kind of investors they are looking empty property or something closer to 10%. If you cannot find investor like that, you have second type of uh, buyers is the end user. And end user, I doubt that, will, that the end user will buy rented property. Talking about disadvantages when you are renting your property. There are several of them. The main ones is first one that not only selling prices are volatile in Dubai, rental prices are volatile as well. So you cannot uh, have guarantee that uh, you will get same amount of rental money in the next year as you are getting now. So sometimes uh, in one year you are getting. 7% ROI and uh, next year you can get only 4. Second disadvantage would be that uh, on the current rules uh, of the market, tenant has a lot of power into his hands and you cannot event, uh, evict sorry, tenant uh, easily. So you can evict tenant only on three reasons. First, tenant is not paying. Second, you are uh, want to renovate uh, your property. And third, you are selling the property to another investor. And uh, in uh, two of these cases, you have to give 12 months notice to the tenant to vacate the property. So it's not so really easy and if we are talking about non-payment uh, non of the tenant you need to pay 3.5% to the government to open case and uh, it's a long procedure, I will, I will tell you about it in the next video. If we are talking about short-term disadvantages, uh, most of them are covered by Holiday Homes Company but uh, in case if you want, wish to do business by your own uh, I think the most the number one disadvantage would be inappropriate behavior of your potential customers your potential tenants which you could have with them uh, because in a short term business 99% of uh, customers they are not staying in Dubai they don't know rules of Dubai sometimes these rules are quite strict and uh, inappropriate behavior could potentially bring you headache and uh, of course uh, non-payment of the tenant sometimes is uh, also an issue talking about advantages of Dubai property market and I don't want to talk about small advantages like a fast uh, transfer procedure and stuff like that. For all investors, there is one huge advantage on this market, which is removing all disadvantages, is that you can make not just the money, you can make really big money investing in the buy property market. And you are not only making this money, you don't need to pay any taxes out of it, uh, of course, if you are not a US citizen. If you know more ways how to do money on Dubai broker property market, or you have an idea how to uh, make money uh, on Dubai property market, please feel free to write in the comments, I would love to discuss it.